all right what is up guys before i get into today's video if you do enjoy it please go ahead and subscribe it means a lot it helps people watch the videos as well so today's video as we all know john wall is now a houston rocket so yesterday russell westbrook was traded to the washington wizards for a first round draft pick and john wall when the trade first came out, I was pretty upset. I wasn't up. I was pretty sad. Um, I really wanted to see Russ play on this team. Wanted to see what they could do with him on the roster. I know both both players wanted out, but I thought they. I really thought they were going to give it a go. Anyways, we all know they signed Demarcus Cousins earlier in the a couple of weeks ago. So this is John Wall and Demarcus Cousins reuniting in two thousand and nine was their only year together at the University of Kentucky and they went 35 and 3 and made it to the elite 8. Health seems to be the problem for most for majority of their NBA careers recently, I should say. Um, I personally think if we get like 80% of John Wall, 80% of DeMarcus Cousins, I think they both would be considered a success. The one thing about Russell Westbrook being on the Rockets was that his three-point shooting was very, very bad. He shot just 26% from the three. Wall is not much of an upgrade from the three-point line. Career 32.5. Westbrook's a 30 and a half, so just two more. Um, but that doesn't tell the full story. He is a 38 and a half catch and shoot three-point shooter, which is much more of a threat when you've got Harden isoing and driving the ball and all that stuff. So that's good that John Wall is a much better catch-and-shoot three-point shooter. They also added DeMarcus Cousins, like I had mentioned. He's got a very, very explosive offensive game. He's he's very multifaceted in the offensive game. He is very good at posting up. He can step out and shoot from the three. He's a 33% three-point shooter. Coming off his Achilles injury, he was still able to put up just over 16 points a game in only 25 minutes per night on an absolutely loaded Golden State Warriors team. Absolutely loaded Golden State Warriors team. So Capella was more of a pick-and-roll partner for Harden without much versatility. However, Cousins, much, much better. Way more versatile. It's going to be much better than having Clint Capella. Bringing in John Wall is going to create much, much more spacing. And then having DeMarcus Cousins, it just brings so much versatility into the Houston pick-and-roll game. John Wall is also an elite passer. He's got great vision. He's never averaged lower than 7.6 assists per game. So that is just, it, it's a very cool statistic. Cousins, on the other hand, can make pass off short. He can make quick passes, finding shooters, Along the baseline, cutting players. Um, wouldn't say he's a great passer, but he's certainly not a horrible passer. He can also create out of the post. He passes out of the post, or his passes out of the post had a points per possession of 1.3 in Golden State, which is pretty, pretty good. So let me know what you guys think if this new Houston Rockets trio, if you will, is going to be better. I definitely think it will i don't really know why they made the trade but after looking at it we got a draft pick and we got a healthy younger john wall so might as well learn to love it 